Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is super exciting for me because this video is actually sponsored by Juliana's Perfumes. Now, before a lot of you click away, I know that sponsored videos are kind of hit or miss here on YouTube. A lot of people don't like them, viewers don't like them, and I understand coming from somebody that is a viewer of YouTube why sponsorships are kind of looked down upon because it kind of seems like people are just like selling something to you and they don't really care about the product being sponsored kind of comes with like this connotation that you have to kind of talk good about the company i've had so many opportunities to work with different companies to do sponsorships and i have turned so many sponsorships down simply because i just didn't feel passionate about the products i didn't think you guys would enjoy them but when juliana's perfume reached out to me and i kind of took it upon myself to really look into their brand because this was a brand i had heard of before this is a brand that probably a lot of you guys is like top favorite uh perfume youtubers have collaborated with one of my favorites that comes to mind is mila leblanc i absolutely love her channel she was sponsored by them and so that was kind of the first time i ever heard about this company and ever since then i was very like much interested never would i thought that they would reach out to me but when they reached out to me i was like my jaw was to the floor and of course I said yes because it was just an opportunity that I just did not want to pass up and it's something that I think you guys will be really really interested in another thing I want to say just because this video is sponsored doesn't mean the things that I'm saying are like things that the brand wants me to say literally this company did not tell me to say anything to you guys like, everything i'm about to tell you is because i want to tell you these things because i truly love this brand not because they told me you know specific things um to say they literally just gave me these perfumes and said make a video on them and that was it so i basically have the freedom here to say whatever i want so with all that being said let's get into this company so juliana's perfume is a new house of fragrances so this is what they're packaging first of all looks like like this packaging looks so high-end they've actually changed their packaging they used to look a little bit different but they have changed their packaging to minimize plastic waste it's basically in this beautiful cardboard box is what it comes with it like the box itself is beautiful it has their logo at the top and here is what the perfume looks like this company basically is a dupe house all their perfumes are inspired by really really high-end niche perfumes top perfume that comes to mind is delina if you have literally watched any one of my videos you know how hard I go for Delina and not because I've tried it because I've never tried Delina but because I've always wanted to try Delina like Delina has been always at the top of my perfume list and it's just like that hefty price has always just kind of you know kept me away from it and so when they reached out to me and I looked at their website and saw that they did Delina dupes they did a bunch of dupes for a bunch of perfumes that i have always been on my perfume list like really high-end niche perfumes i was like i have to say yes and i needed to share this with you guys because i feel like you guys will really like this you guys are always telling me in the comments and just asking me like what are some good dupes for certain perfumes that you love and if you love any of these niche perfumes you guys are going to love this brand and the most amazing thing is that these niche perfumes like the original niche ones are like 300 plus like super super high-end and and their perfumes the most expensive perfumes on their website are about $69 but they range between $59 to $69 like $59 is I think the cheapest you can get and $69 is the most expensive another reason why that price is so crazy is because this company makes extract de parfum I don't know how to say extra extract extract you guys know my French pronunciation is just out of this world amazing. I literally cannot say a single French word. It's really bad. Basically, if you're new to perfumes or you don't know what that means, Extra de Parfum is basically like the most concentrated form of a perfume and usually the most expensive form of a perfume that you can get. Like you guys know EDP, EDT, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, you know, all of that. Most people are familiar with those two, but this like Extra de Parfum kind of goes beyond even Eau de Parfum. So it's like even stronger 
stronger and while eau de parfums basically have like 15 to 20 uh, percent oil concentration in them the extracted parfums have like 20 to 40 percent so it's like super concentrated what that basically means is you're gonna get a perfume with amazing projection sillage uh longevity like longevity more than anything these perfumes will last i got these perfumes like three or four days ago i'm not sure exactly how long it's been but i really wanted to give myself some time to wear a lot of these and really kind of put an honest review because i didn't want to just film this on the day that i got them and have like nothing to say because yeah it could be like oh they smell really good but i really wanted to like test them out so that i could give like an accurate review on these also guys be sure to check out their social medias they basically have like this voting system where they let their customers basically choose their next uh fragrance so you can vote on which perfume you want them to release next their two newest releases that they're going to release are dupes for one of them is dupes for killing loves don't be shy which i have right here this is one of my favorite. This is my most expensive, uh, only niche perfume that I have in my collection. This was like $270. And they're releasing a dupe. I actually have a little sample of it and I did test it out and try it. So we'll get into that in just a minute. They were also kind enough to give me a coupon code for you guys. So if you use 15 off, you will get 15% off of your first purchase. And that's honestly amazing considering their prices are already really good. I highly recommend utilizing that code. It's not an affiliate link, so I'm not getting Getting paid by that they kindly just wanted me to show that to my viewers so that you guys could get a little bit of money off of your first order so with all that being said i want to show you guys finally <laughs> these two products so basically this is what you get when you first order from this brand in this box you get the perfume that you ordered which is this one right here and it's a good amount also i have a thing for square bottles i've said this before but square perfume bottles are the most satisfying bottles in the world for me i don't know what it is it's weird but it's just how it is what i think is so like cool and innovative about this brand that i haven't seen any other brand do in the back right here and if you guys can see there's a little tester in there of the perfume that you got and what they want you to do you get a little card that basically tells you what to do with that basically you take the little tester which is like a decent amount of tester in here and what you're supposed to do is try the tester first obviously these perfumes will be blind bought because they are an online company so you can't actually smell these so what they want you to do is basically take the little tester that it comes with and use this first spray it on wear it see if you like it if you don't if you don't like it you could literally Put this back and ship it back to them and you get your money back. You also get to choose two complimentary perfumes from their website. So whichever two that you want, they'll basically send you two samples, which I have right here. And these are generous samples. Just for size reference, here's like a normal sa sample. This is literally a random sample that I pulled out. And here is literally like a normal sample and how much you get compared to this one and this is a spray bottle like i know a lot of people hate the roller balls and these are not roller balls you can actually spray them so you get a generous amount and you can spray it i think that's amazing i know that a lot of the perfumes that i show in some of my videos you guys always tell me like oh they don't have this perfume in my country but this brand does ship internationally so if you are interested in any of these and you are from out of the u.s you can get these so i just wanted to let you guys know that for my international viewers All right, so now let's get into the actual perfumes that i chose and that they sent me so we're gonna get into this box first i finally got delina or a dupe of delina i have actually never smelled delina but i've seen so many people review this brand people that own delina and there has not been a single person that hasn't said that these are spot on dupes because every single person has said like wow they smell the exact same so although i do not currently own delina and i can't tell you like oh these are like spot on because i don't own it i haven't tried it so many people like lovers of delina have said that these are like spot on one in the same so the little one that i got this one right here this is inner beauty and this is delina's dupe this is the first one that i tried on and this smells amazing honestly this is not what i thought delina to smell like it is so different from what i thought it would smell like and honestly at first i was like whoa like that is that's unique it was like no other perfume i have ever smelled before and at first i was kind of like uh but i wore it and i wore it the entire day i kid you not i got stopped twice and i got asked like what are you wearing like you smell really really good and i had literally sprayed like 
literally three sprays which is like on the low side for me so it's not like i was like heavy but because these are like extra de parfums they literally will pack a punch so you don't need to use a lot which is a good thing also because it means that these will really last you because you're not going to be going ham spraying these now i know that it's not enough for somebody that like actually has delina or me to tell you that like yeah they smell the exact same because obviously you have never smelled them so like you don't know but a cool way for me to kind of confirm that even more is when you take a look at the notes. So these are the notes in Inner Beauty, which is Delina's dupe, and these are the notes in Delina. Do you guys do you guys see any difference between the notes? Because I don't. They literally have the exact same notes. So obviously it makes sense that they smell the exact same because they're composed of the exact same ingredients. Inner Beauty or Delina's dupe, it has top notes of rhubarb, bergamot, light lychee, and nutmeg. It has middle notes of vanilla, Damascan rose, suede, peony and base notes of cedar frankincense vetiver and cashmere this is honestly one of the most complex perfumes i have ever smelled this is very heavy on the rose in my opinion which i'm normally not a huge fan of but there's something about this that makes me want to not stop smelling it i feel like that rhubarb is kind of giving this a little bit of like a sour kick to it and although i would not categorize this as being like sweet or dense or creamy or anything like that usually when i think of like a fresh floral i feel like most fresh florals are very kind of airy not really too dense just very like light this is not any of those although this in my opinion would be kind of more of a not necessarily fresh but like heavy floral it is very dense like it's not like your typical oh like airy floral pretty scent that you have smelled in like a million perfumes this will give you like uniqueness when you put this on you will smell like a bad it definitely has like this punch to it but literally every time i smell it it just gets better to my nose like every single time i smell it i like it more and more and more this just screams femininity if you want to feel like just a classy rich woman wear this perfume this is amazing inner beauty is 59 dollars, so you could literally be smelling like delina for 59 bucks which i think is amazing considering delina is like 300 dollars plus i'm so happy that i finally got this this is not for the faint of heart though this is not like your light fresh floral kind of fragrance no this really packs a punch it has strong projection especially because it is a extra de parfum there is so much oil concentration in this perfume it will last you it literally lasted me two days i've never i don't think i have a single perfume that has lasted me as long as it's lasted me in my collection like i kid you not the scent would not come off of my shirt till i washed it and i could still smell it on my body usually perfumes evaporate a lot quicker on your skin than they do on your clothes but this one really really stuck on to me so the fact that people could still smell this on me and compliment me with this throughout the day i thought that was amazing so that's inner beauty and then i have inner beauty exclusive so i have this in the bigger bottle um a funny thing about this actually just to kind of show you how heavy that oil concentration is in these i was trying these out the day that i got them i was spraying a bunch of them in the air just kind of testing things out smelling them and i had a water bottle open like on my vanity it was like open on my desk i was drinking it and it was just open and i was like spraying these and i wasn't even spraying these like anywhere close to the bottle of water the bottle of water was just kind of there and i was like spraying these in the air a couple hours later i went and took a sip of that water my throat like coated with this like oily film and i was like this water tastes really really weird and then i put the two together that it was like the oil particles that are in this that got into my water somehow and my water was like thick i don't know if you guys have ever drank oil before but i'm sure people know like the feeling of eating oil i don't know something oily it like coats your mouth and your throat and it's like greasy that was like the feeling i was getting as i was drinking my water and then i realized that it was because of this perfume so it's not good to eat inner beauty exclusive obviously is a dupe for delina exclusive which is a delina flanker i felt like i would like this version more because i like sweeter scents and delina exclusive or inner beauty exclusive it's supposed to be like a creamier a little bit sweeter it differs a little bit in the notes um than the original uh delina or inner beauty and considering the fact that i like sweeter scents i thought i was going to love this one 
but I'm still sticking to the original. I really like this as well because it still kind of has the same DNA as the original. They smell almost the exact same except for the fact that this one is literally just creamier. Like I don't know how else to explain it. It smells a little bit more powdery. I don't think the original is that powdery smelling. It's more like crisp and this one has that sort of powdery quality to it it's sweetening this up a little bit and again just for comparison i will put inner beauty exclusive right here and i will put delina exclusive right over here as far as notes and again you guys can see pretty much that's kind of stays true in all of these all of the notes for like the original and the dupe are like almost exactly the same. So the notes in Inner Beauty Exclusive are pear, lychee, um, bergamot, and middle notes of Turkish rose, agar wood, incense, and base notes of vanilla, amber, and woody notes. So the notes between the two don't differ that much. They just have like a couple notes here and there kind of different. I think that powderiness that I'm smelling is that amber. I think that's really kind of sweetening this up. If this one is like daytime, daytime date, although I feel like this is a little nighttime too. They're both super sexy. This one is more so like the nighttime version. I can really smell the vanilla in this, whereas in this, it has like a touch of sweetness, but the sweetness in this one really comes out a lot more. So that would be really like the only difference as far as lasting power this lasted me exactly the same as the original the last little tester that i have in this box is for red carpet affair now red carpet affair is inspired by guerlain's angelique noir which again very much niche high-end super expensive perfume i'm gonna stop saying that because that's pretty much the case with all of these but i'm also giving you guys the prices on the screen so you can kind of like compare and contrast red carpet affair is so sexy to me like it, this is a beautiful fragrance i almost want to say that i like this more than the delina dupes because oh my gosh this is the sexiest this is the sexiest perfume i imagine wearing like a red bright red dress your hair like down with some nice like sexy stilettos like red bottoms something like that that's kind of like the vibe that this gives me this is like ultra sexy the notes in this are like right up my alley this is like predominantly like a vanilla like a really really sexy vanilla sort of scent vanilla is like on my top five favorite notes and this one the vanilla in this is just like like this is not your like girly sweet immature vanilla no this is like grown woman sexy almost has like an aphrodisiac sort of i don't know quality to it it has like this really like sort of cozy sensual vibe to it like very much date night i do not see me wearing this on like a, a bright sunny day and i'm just like going out to brunch or lunch or anything like that i see this like strictly for nighttime a nice sexy like dinner date and you have this on i don't think anybody will be able to keep your hands off of you when you're wearing this scent because it's just so good the vanilla in here it just screams like sensuality this is again making me want the original but also like i have it in this maybe once i run out of this maybe that'll kind of give me a little bit of an incentive to get the original or maybe I'll just keep buying these. I've watched reviews on like every single one of these perfumes. And I've heard people say that they are all like spot on to the inspired fragrance. The top notes in Red Carpet Affair are Angelica and Pear. Heart notes of Lavender, Rose, and White Musk. And base notes of Vanilla and Jasmine Sambac. I feel like especially on the dry down which makes sense because they're the base notes but that jasmine sambac and the vanilla are really just what's giving it this like amazing sensual quality to it i've said this before but i'm not a huge lover of florals but one of the florals that i do absolutely love is jasmine i don't know what it is about jasmine i love like almost every perfume that has jasmine i just love jasmine i think it smells amazing and the jasmine sambac in combination with that vanilla perfection okay so let's move on to the next box so there is three fragrances in this one as well this is aurora can you guess what this is a dupe of i'll give you a minute this is a dupe for baccarat rouge 540 i know that there is so many dupes for baccarat at this point like you have cloud you have, I don't know, Burberry Her. There's literally a million dupes. But those perfumes, although they are, I guess, considered dupes because they do kind of smell similar, they're not meant to be, like, inspired by or actual, like, 
meant to be dupes to Baccarat. Whereas this one, it's actually inspired by Baccarat Rouge and it literally smells the exact same. Just by taking a look at the notes, they are the exact same. At this point, this is a scent that I've smelled so many times. So I feel like I'm very familiar with what Baccarat is supposed to smell like. This smells amazing. I almost like this way more than I like Cloud because this one, it's like, it's sweet, but Cloud is a little like immature sweet. It's more so like young girl type sweet, whereas this one is giving me sweet in a really sort of, I don't know, more sensual, more sexy, more woman-like way. Scent notes for this are top notes of violet, jasmine, and saffron, middle notes of praline, ambergris, and base notes of amber, vanilla, and oak moss. This is just very unique. At this point, I don't think that there's a single person that can actually truly explain the scent of baccarat rouge or aurora I, by the way i love this name i love aurora i think aurora is like literally the prettiest name ever to exist and i've thought that ever since i saw sleeping beauty as a kid i've just always wanted to be named aurora but unfortunately i'm not any of you guys' names are aurora leave me in the comments because i'm obsessed with that name i think it's just literally like a princess name i really don't know if there's any notes that i can specifically pick up in this everything in it is so nicely blended it's like sweet it's airy it's got like this just strange ozonic vibe to it men literally go crazy for this scent i don't know what it is and i know that it's also polarizing like a lot of people also don't love this type of scent Personally, I'm on the end where I really really like it and literally every single person I've encountered um, Has loved this scent and it's also a scent that I smell so much on people like it's been so overly like Popularized at this point, but I really really like this if you are looking for like a true true dupe to Baccarat I highly recommend checking this one out. Okay, so here is the scent that I'm most excited to show you guys all of these scents I don't have the original perfumes of but for this scent I can actually compare the two together This is a night to remember a night to remember is a dupe for killing loves Don't be shy if you don't know already killing loves don't be shy was so popularized because people found out that Killing Loves Don't Be Shy was Rihanna's like signature perfume. Basically anytime anybody like smelled Rihanna on red carpets on I don't know just in general smelled her everybody like says she smells like heaven she smells amazing like sweet sugary and so when people found out it was this fragrance everybody bought this fragrance out it was literally sold out on Sephora for like months like literally at least half a year even though I think it is back in stock now I feel like it's easier to get it's still like a $300 fragrance so why get that when you can literally get its dupe right here a night to remember is actually a perfume that they are going to be releasing it is not released yet there is so many people on the way list for this perfume people really really want to get their hands on this perfume this is $59 compared to the $300 price point of this I think that is amazing considering they smell identical I tried this one out yesterday I sprayed this all over my arm on this side and I sprayed the original on my other arm and they both stayed really well to kind of describe this scent it's basically like sweet tarts i've explained this in the same way i feel like in every video but that's just what it smells like if you guys have ever smelled sweethearts like the little valentine's day candies they're like that like sugary marshmallowy type scent this is very very heavy on that marshmallow sort of scent if you've ever had those candies that's literally exactly what this smells like and the dupe of it smells identical like there is not one thing that i don't smell in this it has that same sort of powdery sugary marshmallowy fluffy sort of sweetness to it that the original has i need to stop spraying these because these are strong i feel like i'm in like this scent bubble right here this smells incredible and it smells just like it i will spray this one on my other wrist right here they literally smell the exact same there is like zero zero difference that i can pick up on anyway um, the top notes for this are bergamot, pink pepper, heart notes of orange blossom, jasmine, geranium, rose, honeysuckle, and base notes of vanilla, sugar, caramel, amber, and musk. As you guys can see on the screen in comparison to the notes, they are basically the exact same notes and they basically smell the exact same. So if you're looking for Killing's Love, don't be shy, but you don't want to pay that hefty, hefty price, definitely check out Juliana's perfumes. If you actually go and order like the big size of this, you can literally get the big size and you can get two like samples of whatever 
fragrance that you want to try out from there so this would definitely be one that i can actually recommend because i've actually like tried the original and i actually know that they are dupes and i can like confirm that they are dupes all right and then the very last scent that i have here is sex on fire that name is accurate to what this smells like. So this is inspired by Initio Parfums Absolute Aphrodisiac. I have heard about this perfume by Demi Rowling like so, so much. Every time I went to go and look it up and saw how much it was, I would be hitting the exit button. But the way that she described it, the way the notes sounded, everything about it sounded so amazing. It just seemed like such a true like luxury perfume, like something that a rich woman that lives in dubai wears i don't know why that came into my head but i don't know this just smells like money <laughs> it has like this sex appeal to it like like i said that name is like so spot on to the smell of this this is out of this world like it's unlike anything i've ever smelled before it has like this sort of i don't know maybe leathery there's no leather in this but i smell like this just I don't know just this sexiness that i can't describe kind of woody it's kind of unisex almost this isn't like the most feminine perfume in the world this is so i have just different it just smells so like refined there's like this warm sweetness to it that comes to it but it's almost like a little bit smoky i don't know there's something i i can't put like pinpoint it almost smells like suede or leather or something like that the top notes in here are tahitian vanilla middle notes of white flowers castorium and musk and then base notes of warm amber madagascar vanilla and lab denim so perfectly well balanced and i just cannot explain it like i don't know how to explain it at all it just has like this warm ambery vanilla sort of scent but in the most sexual way possible that i can describe those two it's definitely like an oriental scent i don't think this is a scent for everybody but i don't know it just has major sex appeal it almost has this like dirtiness to it like this musky dirtiness but like in the most sexy way possible which makes no sense i know but i feel like when you smell this then you maybe understand what i'm trying to say it is just really good i literally like i don't know how to explain it so i'm not gonna sit here and explain it in the weirdest way possible it's just something you gotta smell for yourself to really understand the scent but yeah guys that's basically all of the perfumes that i was sent from juliana's perfumes they have a ton more on their website so definitely go check out their website so you can see which other ones they have dupe if i had to rate these like in order from like best to worst i wouldn't necessarily call any of these worse because i enjoyed all of them but there were some that i enjoyed more than others so if i had to put them in order of like me liking them i would say top would probably be inner beauty it was just i finally got to smell the scent of delina and it just warmed my heart it's really really good so inner beauty would definitely be my number one after inner beauty i would say a night to remember which is the killing love uh don't be shy dupe which is a favorite of mine because i love and adore the original and i wear it a ton and i always get compliments it's just a perfume that is amazing my third pick would go to aurora because honestly from all the baccarat rouge dupes that i've tried which is a lot because i've shown them throughout my videos i've tried so many of his dupes and i would say out of all the dupes i've tried that is my favorite i think it just smells the best it's not too strong but at the same time it just kind of like warms you up in this ozonic sort of really hard to describe but warm like sweet scent very very cozy um so that would definitely be my third i feel like i would almost tie aurora with red carpet affair because that was amazing too like the vanilla in there oh my gosh it was so 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 good i absolutely loved it so i feel like i definitely want to tie that for third place i don't want it to go to fourth place and then for fourth place i would say sex on fire which was also like just it's very very unique it's definitely something i'm gonna have to keep wearing and keep getting used to because it's honestly the strangest most unique most out there perfume that i have in my entire collection there's just something about it it's really really good but it's something that i'm definitely gonna have to keep wearing and just getting to know more and then the last one this is not it's not my last one because i didn't like the scent but it's only last because i feel like it smells very similar to the actual like the actual original one um and that would be for inner beauty exclusive because 
it still had like almost the exact same scent as Inner Beauty, which is Delina. It was just a little bit more powdery, a little bit more ambery, a little bit heavy on that amber, honestly. Still very good, but I just didn't see like such a huge difference. So that's why that would go for last for me, but they were all really, really good. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Juliana's Perfumes for reaching out to me, sending me these perfumes and sponsoring this video. I'm so happy to be working with you and I hope to be collaborating with your brand in the future because I genuinely like really 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 love these perfumes and i just think they're so well made i absolutely love them so that would be my full review for juliana's perfumes i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know if you guys have tried this because i know that a lot of you guys have um but let me know in the comments i know a lot of you guys have been asking me to uh review dupe houses and i wanted to kind of bring this one to your attention because i think they are really really good and I wouldn't stand behind them if I didn't think that. So just know that what I'm saying and everything that I'm saying is like true. I would not be saying this stuff if it was fake. I wouldn't have even taken the sponsorship if I didn't truly like feel passionate about this brand. So I really just wanted to get that out there. Again, don't forget to use 15 off to get 15% off of your first purchase with them just to get a little bit of money off. Again, as I said, I don't get paid off of that code. They kindly just wanted me to give you guys that code in case you're interested in any of these. But definitely let me know if you are interested in any of these and which ones or if you have any of these. Definitely let me know your experiences with Juliana's perfumes. But that is it for me today, guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Definitely turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when I post next and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!